Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th series. Continuing with the class 12th lecture series for solving MCQs and sums, today we will be covering MCQs of chapter 10, Magnetic Field Due to Electric Current. So let us check out the first MCQ. A conductor has three segments, two straight of length L each and a semicircular with radius R. It carries a current I. What is the magnetic field B at point P? which is shown over here in the center. These are the options and for solving this first of all we'll talk about what is biot severs law. It states that the incrementing magnetic field or magnetic induction at point P due to any current element IDL is given by mu0 upon 4 pi IDL sin theta upon R square. Now we will talk about two things over here. What is IDL? So on this entire length of this wire, if you consider a small section of wire DL and the current flowing through this wire is small segment of wire is also I. So the product of this current and this small element DL is the current element and the direction of this current element is given by the direction of current. The theta over here is the angle between the current element and the position vector drawn from point P to this current element. So let us check out what will be the angle for all the elements over here. For the first element if I consider a current element at this point since the current is flowing in this direction towards the right the direction of this current element will be towards the right. The position vector from point P to this current element will be towards the left and therefore the angle over here is 180 degree. Now let us do it for the third element as well. If you consider a small current element over here, it will be pointing towards the right because current is flowing in the right direction and position vector drawn from point P to this current element will also point towards the right. So they are in same direction so we can say theta equal to 0. Now for theta equal to 0 and theta equal to 180, we get sin theta as 0 sin 0 is 0 and sin 180 is also 0. So we won't have any magnetic field because of first segment and third segment of wire. We will be having magnetic field only because of this second segment which is along this circular path. Okay. Now let us consider a small segment of wire over here DL and if we consider the current element IDL over here the direction of the current will be the tangent to this semicircle and position vector to this element will be like this. Now we can see that angle between these two is 90 degree. So theta over here is 90 degree and we all know that sin 90 is equal to 1. So let us put it over here. We got mu0 upon 4 pi IDL divided by the distance over here is capital R ka square. Now this is magnetic field only because of this small element DL over here. If we consider the entire length of the semicircle, we will get the total magnetic field at point B after integrating the entire length. So we will have mu0 upon 4 pi i by r square and integral of this DL. We all know that total length of the circumference of the semicircle is pi r. For a complete circle it is 2 pi r. For a semicircle it will be pi r. Over here pi and pi will be cancelled. r and r will be cancelled and we will be getting final magnetic field B is equal to mu 0 i upon 4 r. So the correct option is option C over here. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next time. Figure A B shows 2 Amperian loops associated with the conductors carrying current I in the sense shown. The closed line integral of magnetic field B in the cases A and B will be respectively. These are the options that we have. Now to understand Amperian loops consider a conductor through which current I is flowing. Now when a current flows through this there is this magnetic field which is created around this loop and to understand the direction of the flow of current and magnetic field if the magnetic field is going in this direction the current should go upward we can use right hand thumb rule to understand this so if the fingers of our right hand curl around in the direction of this magnetic field 
द स्ट्रेच थम पॉइंट इन दी डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट एम्पियर सर्किट लॉस इज दैट वेन यू टेक एनी क्लोज लूप लाइक वी हैव टेकन ओवर इयर दिस क्लोज लूप एंड वी डू लाइन इंटीग्रल on this closed loop now because this is closed we have this small circle drawn on this integral this will be equal to mu0 into i i is the current enclosed inside this loop okay and mu0 is the permeability when we look at the first case if we curl our fingers of the right hand in this anti clockwise direction we find that thumb is pointing on this side but the current over here is flowing is in the opposite direction so in this case the integral will give us the result as mu 0 i but with a minus sign in the second case what we see is the current is not enclosed in this loop so if the current is not enclosed in the loop the integral will result into the answer zero because it considers only current which is enclosed by the loop therefore the correct option is option A. Hope you all understood this. Let us go ahead with the next MCQ. A proton enters a perpendicular uniform magnetic field B at origin along the positive x-axis with a velocity v as shown in the figure. Then it will follow the following path. Point to be noted is magnetic field is directed into the paper, and these are the options. So over here we will be using the right hand rule, and if we align. along the positive x axis our index finger of the right hand to point to the direction of flow of current and if if we point the middle finger towards the screen then from this what we will find is our thumb will be pointing upward our thumb will be pointing upward which will show the force acting on this particle so this particle will be kind of bending towards the positive y axis in this case because the force acting is upward so the correct option will be it will move along a curve path and it will bend towards positive y axis so i guess this will be y axis right so this is positive y axis then we have option b as correct option hope you understood this let us check out the next mcq a conducting thick copper rod of 1 meter carries a current of 15 ampere and is located on the earth's equator there the magnetic flux lines of the earth's magnetic field are horizontal with the field of 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla south to north the magnitude and direction of the force on the rod when it is oriented so that current flows from west to east are these are the options that we have and what they have said is on this earth ka equator somewhere lies that rod of 1 meter which is definitely not this much big and the current on this rod is flowing from west to east the magnetic field is going from south to north so this is the direction of magnetic field this is the direction of current or length and the angle between them is 90 so the magnitude of force can be found out by the formula b i l sin theta where angle over here is 90 and sin 90 is 1 so b ka value is 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 i is 15 L is one, sine ninety is one. So what we get is fifteen into one point three will give us nineteen point five into ten raised to minus four newton. The closest answer that we have from the option is twenty into ten raised to minus four newton. Now let us talk about the direction of this force. For this, we'll be using the right hand rule. As shown in the diagram, we can align the fingers of our right hand to point in the direction of current and magnetic field. to get the direction of the force so if we align the index finger or the first finger along the current and middle finger along the magnetic field we find that thumb will point outwards or upwards for the surface so the correct option that we have over here is option d hope you all understood this let us check out the next mcq a charged particle is in motion having initial velocity when it enters into a region of uniform magnetic field perpendicular to v because of the magnetic force the kinetic energy of the particle will remain unchanged get reduced increase or it will decrease to zero so the correct option over here is option a because whenever a charged particle moves into a uniform magnetic field in that case the direction of motion of the particle might change which might change the direction of velocity 
but the magnitude of velocity remains the same and therefore the kinetic energy remains the same because kinetic energy is given by half mv square hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates and as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we'll be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover see you all in the next class this is professor sandeep from physics hq signing off